Hello, welcome. Today we are going to see how to remove unwanted HTTP response headers from your ASP.NET web application. Here I have a sample web application built with ASP.NET MVC. We are going to preview this in our web browser. Now if we quickly go to our networks tab, we can see all the assets that are being loaded from our IIS server. And let's inspect the index file, which is the home page we're viewing right now. As you can see, under the response headers, we have a whole lot of headers information right here. Some headers like server, ASP.NET version, ASP.NET MVC version, powered by, expose unwanted information that could be used by hackers or people with malicious intent. So today, we're going to see how to remove all these extra unwanted headers from being served to our clients. First, let's start with removing the server response header from our web application. For this, we need to go to our web.config file and then under system.webserver, we need to add a security request filtering, remove server header to true. Once we set that, let's reload our application. And as you can see, we no longer have the server response header in the response. Now let's try to remove the xasp.net version. Here we have two versions. Let's try to remove the first version, which is the asp.net main version. For this, we need to go to a rep.config file and under HTTP runtime, we say enable oops, version header and set it to false. Now let's save and refresh. Let's check the main file. And as you can see, we no longer have the main ASP.NET version. Now, how do we remove the ASP.NET MVC version? For this, we need to go to our global.asax file and add the following entry mvc handler dot disable mvc response header to true now let's rebuild the application and let's refresh the page And as you can see, we no longer have the xasp.net MVC version. Now let's remove the last unwanted response header, which is xpowered by. This header lists the type of web application framework we're using to power this web application. To remove this xpowered by response header, we go to webconfig, and under system.webserver, we say HTTP protocol, And then we add another tag, custom headers, and we basically clear all the custom headers. Now let's save, refresh. Now if we inspect the index headers, you can see the X powered by response header is no longer being served. Thank you for watching the video. Take care.